Hi Virgo, this is Jess with your weekly reading for August 8th to the 13th. I hope you guys are enjoying your August so far. Well, I do see that some Virgos out there um, could have heard uh, about um, some people being laid off at your job. Some people could have gotten fired. Um, it could have been more than like two, three people that could have gotten fired, but it could have been more than that. Um, and um, I feel like now it's a lot of competition at the workplace, people trying to get um, promoted, trying to take over other people's spot, spots. There's a lot of discord going on at the workplace for some of my Virgos because um, some people have to take over other people's workload. Um, I'm almost getting the same energy that I got for Gemini quite some time back when it all, when these uh, cards kind of, different cards, but the same energy was echoing. Um, so I do see that there's some conflict and discord um, bickering at the workplace. I feel like in spite of a lot of people kind of acting childish because of this shake up and change, some of them are mad because they have to leave. Others, I feel, are pissed because they have to take on some workload or they're just, you know, coattailing those around them that um, is creating the unnecessary drama, if you will. Uh, I feel like um, you're just going to keep doing what you're doing. OK, uh, you're going to take on the extra work. And I feel like, you know, that this is either because, you know, Virgos, you guys always have a plan. So you're saying, OK, I'm going to stay out of the fray because I'm no dummy and I'm going to take on this extra work with no problem. And I'm going to do by my time. But then I'm also going to be working my plan as to how I can get myself to a different position or how I can get out of here. I've been telling you guys that for the longest. A lot of you have already gotten out. Some of you are still planning your exit strategy so you're taking on this extra load but you're saying okay i'm gonna buy my time i'm keep my head low and i'm keep going because i'm going to either get out of here or i'm going to do everything i can because i got my eye on a bigger prize which is a promotion um or they're gonna have to give me some days off or whatever it is you know whatever you're putting in you have a plan to kind of get that coming back to you some kind of way um I feel like for some of you that that applies to, you have a child with someone and I feel like there may be some discussions about um, them having to, you know, play more of a part, especially if you have to put in more hours at the job, if you have to, you know, take on more of responsibility that takes you away from the child. Maybe you may need to have more t participation from the other parent, okay? Um, I feel like that's for people that the, the child lives with you but the other parent or, you know, child could live with you, child could live with the other parent. So if it's my men, the, the child lives with the mother. For my ladies, the child lives with you, okay? Um, and he's thinking about it. He's ruminating on it. He's contemplating, trying to figure out if he wants to do this. But I do feel he cares. And so um, I'm just assuming, I don't see any cards that would suggest that, but <laughs> I'm assuming that it seems to me that he will be, he, he, he seems to care, but he's thinking about it. Uh, others of you, I feel like you're, com you're having a lot of conflict conflict um, I feel like inner conflict as far as you not wanting to let a situation end okay um, there could be someone from your past a water sign Pisces cancer or a Scorpio person um, it could be someone that you share a child with or someone that was very significant in your child you and your your child's life and I feel like um, you're avoiding or there's a del you've delayed totally ending the situation or when you ended it it was on your terms and so it wasn't something that was detrimental to you but it could have been detrimental to this person and you're kind of like this person may be coming back and now there's conflict like you guys are bickering and and going at it with one another um and now you're just i feel like toward the end of the week you're going to be trying your best to kind of keep things at at a level okay um, some of you, if this person is the other parent, you know, this person has to be in your life to some extent. Um, so I feel like you're doing your best to kind of like keep it all going, you know, um, because either you're not ready to end it yet and let it go, or this person can't really like just a hundred percent be out of your life because you share a child. So I feel like you're going to do what you can to kind of just keep it going because I feel like there needs to be some type of decision made but someone's not, you're not really ready to make a decision. So you're going to keep doing what you're doing. You're not going to be really ready to make an actual decision yet. Um, 
yeah so that's what i see for you guys for this week money looks a little um like juggling some of you guys are gonna have to juggle a little bit of money um that could be a, a source of contention for you and um your I, i'm getting a strongly a family dynamic of you know a husband wife or a more so two people that share a child um, scenario dynamic of whatever sort live together not together anymore that sort of thing but I feel like there is differences of opinion about how to rear the child or how much money one should be providing for the child what the child needs um, you may feel like you know I'm already given I can't really give you any more and the person is saying well you know I need a lot more because it costs a lot of money for you to get to, to take care of children um, and I feel like if you got if this was the case for some of you in the past very recently there could have been a fallout and um an argument or some type of fallout that happened but it kind of came full circle so um maybe at first it was looking like you guys were going to completely break up or the situation was going to completely come to an end but it didn't where there's still i feel like there's still an opportunity for this thing to work out but I feel like some of my Virgos are contemplating. I'm sure I'm surprised I didn't get the hermit card because I'm just sensing a lot of contemplation of, you know, should you keep moving forward on your own or should you, you know, consider what this person is offering you? And uh, for those of you that's dealing with Tauruses, make sure you go back and listen to the Taurus um, video because your video, your message and Taurus message is actually kind of echoing each other to a very small extent. And if you listen to it, you'll know what I mean. So that's what I have for you guys for this week. Let me know in the comment section below if this relates to you. And if you are new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I will be back next week with another one. Take care, guys.